man has stood in Jerusalem this man that I saw in the vision the man that came out of a vision please hear me I was standing in my garden suddenly the spirit came and removed from my eyes scales I was praying for America and I was praying for Israel nothing unusual and suddenly behind me starting behind my back going in the form of an arrow for hundreds of thousands of people and I turned around and I was stunned at what I saw this was not just a mere dream but this was a vision and so I raised my hand like this and every one of them raised their hands I looked back and they were doing the same thing I shouted and they all shouted they were one they were one one party one party of people it continued until I realized that the unity of these amongst them stood one that God had set aside to be the leader of this nation I said why am I hearing this so soon surely you would show me a little bit of it closer to the time and the Spirit of God said to me this man has a humble stature but he is a genius and then I heard gold I wasn't sure if this was attached to his name but he said to me he will restore the fortunes in this nation Bef because of his brilliance I couldn't quite see his face because that was not allowed because there was a mist that covered all the people and he was amongst them and the Spirit of God made me look at him and he said this man will throttle the enemies of Israel this man will throttle the enemies of the West and there are highly embarrassing moments that are about to occur for many many politicians in this nation there will be a shaking amongst there will be a shaking amongst the de Democrats in the upcoming elections but unsettling for the Republicans why is why is God doing this for God said I am dissatisfied with what emerges from both parties and then there is a nation he showed me and took me itching for a new kind of war with America they will shout impeach impeach they say but nay this nation shall come very subtly but he shall not come in the time of President Obama they shall come when this new one arises my David that I have set aside for this nation a man of prayer a man of choice words not a man who is verbose who has verbosity who speaks too much they will even say this man is not speaking enough but God says I have set him aside they will shout impeach impeach but this shall not happen and then God says highly embarrassing moments when another Snowden arises and people will become very afraid 
they'll say, we have no protection. And then God says, am I impressed with your weapons of war? Am I impressed with the strength of your men's legs? Ha! I have said I will bring this nation to its knees. And God said, you have been humbled. And yet some more. And then you shall hear the sounds of great victory. For where are the people gathered? Where are my people gathered? Where is the sound of unity from my people? I want just this crowd here and all the thousands watching all over the world. Just do me a favor. Just for about 30 seconds, raise up your voice and shout. Come on! man shall begin to emerge Come on. and in the following two weeks which is a three week period he shall slowly come to the fore for they are saying how do we kill the giant how do we kill the giant of death how do we kill the giant of socialism how do we kill the giant of human secularism I have placed that man amongst you a humble man and as Samuel stood before the brothers and they had rejected David to come because of his age take all these little little remarks I'm giving you they are gems the name and the word gold remember that a man that is amongst them but is young and God says these that shall reject him shall be shocked at how he takes the giant down now hear me please the giant of death the giant the giants that have come the brothers of Goliath Stand in glee watching America. We will cripple you. You will lose your credit. But God said, watch. I said 20,000. Look not to Wall Street. However, observe. And they shall say, what is your plan for this, this giant? And he will take a simple stone. Remember the name. And he will hold it up and they will laugh at him. But the plan is so brilliant, says the Lord. It could only have been given by me. <laughs> Come on! California, you are dying because of a drought watch my sign watch the sign of rain for I told you there would be severe wind from above and all the states that are affected by this severe weather have been set up for a shaking of my spirit and an outpouring of my spirit but California 
I am looking at you. Gold, stone, California, a smaller statue. And God says, once you recognize the man that I have raised up, pray. For the enemy will do everything in his power to put a witch in the White House. Did anybody hear what he just said? For Jezebel has chased away the prophets and even Elijah. Come on. Now I have said, go back. For this shall be dismantled so that there will be no more corruption in the White House, says the Spirit. Spirit of God says, My people have cried. My people have cried out for an answer. And this is what I have to say, says the Spirit of Life. A veil has been placed upon this nation and I did it! I did it! So that for a season my people would wonder and faith would increase. For in darkness faith grows. In despair faith grows. I did it! But now, my fury has ended. Hear me, for I have found a man after my own heart. I have found a man after my own heart and he is amongst you. He is one of the brothers but singled out for presidency of the United States of America. But yeah, yeah, the transcription of God upon the heart of his prophet. How the gold has become dim. The stones of the sanctuary are scattered at the head of every street. The precious sons of Zion, valuable as fine gold, are now regarded as clay pots. Those who ate delicacies are desolate in the streets and those who were brought up in royal scarlet now embrace ash heaps. Is this what I wanted? My people were brighter than snow, whiter than milk. They were like sapphire in their appearance and now they are stricken for lack of fruits in the field. The hands of once compassionate women have cooked their own children and their children have become food for them. Your children have become food for who are once compassionate women. But my fury is fulfilled, says the Lord. And I have now kindled a fire in Zion. I have kindled a fire in Zion, in America, in nations throughout the earth and my fist is about to smack down on Russia. For out of the rebellion, turn me up just a little, out of the rebellion of the Ukraine which was seen by my prophet shall come out of those ashes beauty, shall come out of that sadness joy shall come out of those garments praise says the Lord I have searched for a man and a woman who would stand in the Oval Office and pray and call for the restoration of the fortunes of Zion I have looked for a man who would pray for the restoration of the fortunes of Zion Therefore, if you hear my heart, says the Lord, today, I will take you on a journey. 
I will first take you to Israel whom they would give Jerusalem to his enemies why would they give half of Jerusalem away this will not happen says the Lord for I will take you on a journey today into Jerusalem where it shall be prophesied to song by my prophet what I intend doing in Jerusalem and in the United States of America at the same time says the Lord I am restoring the fortunes of Zion I am restoring the fortunes that were the inheritance of my people I am restoring the fortunes of those that are elect of God and had been stolen from you shall eat your delicacies again and your children will no longer be your food you shall not use them and take them out of the womb anymore says the Lord watch how I change everything for there shall be those who are in justice and those there are those who are in a strong position I'm just hearing this now in the highest court in the land the highest court in the land the Supreme Court two shall step down for the embarrassment of what shall take place for I wish to place in the highest court in the land righteousness and they shall attempt to put others in to endeavor to reach their endeavors but God says hear me tonight hear me today I have this whole thing planned out according to my will for it is now time for me to restore the fortunes of Zion the fortunes to those that had it once you are going to get it back this is my promise says the Lord of hosts give him a shout pandemonium in the White House in the higher regions and below the earth in Italy and in Rome all of this uncovered but unspoken of do you realize that things are happening that you know not of because they are hidden from you says the Lord but look to the fall I made you a light for the world to see America my love I made you a voice for the world to hear America you are my love you are my love you are my light you are my song in the night you are my smile you are my voice in troubled times I call to you You are my light America You are my voice Of my son I brought you forth For myself, America, my love, I do not care what anybody says. God called this nation to be a light. Yes, it has flaws. So does Israel. 
Yes, it has imperfections. But did I call my people to perfection? I said you would be a light shining in a dark place. I said you would be a hand that would feed the hungry. And I gave you oil to heal nations. And I gave you my breath to sing. Even your national anthem has my breath on it. Now they are foes. ISIS, ISIS is not an Islamic state. It is a God that was worshipped centuries and millennia ago. Starting with Nimrod, that same spirit has rested upon the East. Middle East and is knocking at your door. But you have acknowledged me as the Lord God of your nation. I cease, will cease to influence and exist on the streets of my soil, America and Israel and Western nations. You shall put your fist down on Turkey. You shall put your fist down on Russia, Syria and Iran. ISIS heads have been taken from children. I do not like that, says the Lord. Therefore, I have come to the earth to examine and to inspect, to see how I shall judge you in the presence of your enemies. No, 9-11 attempt shall be to their satisfaction says the Lord no but watch Chicago and watch Michigan for they are terrors that draw closer and closer to banish the sounds of praise Israel has praised me and shall continue my people Ecclesia shall praise me and they shall continue therefore I am the guardian of this nation and I will put a stop to it and expose 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 in the fall until you realize that I have spoken and it is so says the Lord of hosts come on Come to us, we pray with open hands. We say, You are welcome, you are welcome in our homes. Come to us, and we pray with open hearts. We say, you are welcome, and you are welcome in our land. I pray today, Lord, that as our hands and our hearts are united, that the washing of the water of the Word take place now. Sprinkle in every home and on every doorpost. May your words and laws be written in the streets of America, in the streets of England, 
the streets of Europe, the streets of your nations. Sprinkle the blood on the doorposts that the angel of death that has desired the nation may that blood cry out may that blood cry out from every doorpost of your people may your blood cry out of better things than that of Abel I pray stop the division and the discord in this nation and hear the prayers of your saints even if it's just today as hundreds of thousands will draw together all over the earth our one goal is to praise you and to lift you up it doesn't matter if I don't preach or do anything what we will do today as nations is worship you we will lift you up Lord from this den and from our homes be glorified oh God let your glory cover the earth as the waters cover the sea let your glory be above the heavens let your glory fill the earth I pray I pray that your presence Lord God would drive back our enemies I pray like Jehoshaphat prayed as he stood before the nations and he said here they have come to take us away from our possession which you have given us to inherit Lord we have an inheritance we have an inheritance and that inheritance we will receive that kingdom that you have promised to us we will receive kingdom come kingdom come kingdom come kingdom come come all over the world there are people standing under the power of this holy spirit that is present Say it with me. Kingdom come. Kingdom come. Kingdom come. 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 our daily bread forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who have trespassed against us deliver us from evil lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil for yours is the kingdom the power the glory forever and ever and everybody watching me that has been influenced by the power of the prognosis given by our new news media 
I break the power of that now. What you have is a permeating of hope coming to you from one who has stepped into the future as far as 2019. That's what I've done by his spirit to tell you that a season of war cannot remain a season of war. Seasons change. This will come to an end. And rejoicing and celebration will once again be on the streets of Jerusalem and in the streets of America. That is all I have to say about that. Come on. What have I prepared? What have I prepared for the nations of the earth? What have I prepared for the nations of the earth? This is the latter part of what the Spirit gave me. What have I prepared for New Zealand? What have I prepared for Ukraine? What have I prepared for Russia? Estonia? Europe? And the Middle East? Yes! Yeshua! Is moving to a people who are dissatisfied there is only one God but Allah they say Be up a little. there is only one God but Allah would you not like to know what the Lord has to say there is only one God but God there is only one God but God and I will go where I wish. I was able to tear down the wall through Ronald Reagan. And the curtain. But there are two more walls that will come down. And in 2018, at the celebration of Israel's birthday there shall be an outpouring of my spirit in Israel like it has not had since the days of David and the days of Jesus you listen to me everybody but I have prepared my Holy Spirit to bring upon the earth and especially America, Canada, France, the Netherlands, Germany and many others. A move of the Holy
Holy Spirit that will creep over into the streets of the Middle East and there shall be Damascus Road conversions take place in the highest places in terrorist organizations and they shall come out and they shall reveal the truth and the evil of Islam and there shall be a shaking in the kingdom and the way that I shook in 1900 at the turn of the century 1948 in the 60s and the 70s I will accumulate them all in one Come on. and I shall pour out of my spirit with a global renewal says the Lord you to hear me please because that song not even specifically the melody but the hallelujah will suddenly emerge and begin to be sung all over the world they say that Islam is attracting young people but the spirit told me and I saw this all over the world Jesus became popular Jesus became famous again a fame that is worthy of him conversions will take place in universities and schools And the people that are professors and teachers that have taught all this erroneous crap yeah. in the presence of these I will raise up scientists yep. that will speak the truth and it will spread and people will try and stop it but it will not be stopped this shall spread and spread and spread and there will be no control for it shall be like a river that's what I saw now many of you watching all over the world you know what I do there is an altar you've heard it directly from the Spirit of God how he is going to move from one nation to the other through the streets house churches will be just about in every street in the United States of America and in Europe every street every neighborhood shall have 
the ability and to hear the gospel of the kingdom. For God will not allow his son to return, but will retain him until the fulfillment of every prophetic word that the prophets prophesied and the one thing that is being restored at this very moment in the midst of rubble, in the midst of clay, in the midst of mire, is the tabernacle of David. The restoration of the tabernacle of David will bring about souls into the kingdom by the millions, yes. the tens of millions. And it shall be known spoken about by time magazine and i saw a new magazine that is also going to come forth come on. not necessarily on paper alone of course not to be on the internet but that shall speak of christ yes. but it shall use the finest of scientists the finest of athletes the finest of artists the finest of economists and business people prosperity is at our door now you may say that doesn't look possible do not say that because what god requires from you now is faith yes. you see faith is the only thing that can please god it says without faith it is impossible to please him if you're watching me now you heard the word of the lord you receive faith you know what i love about the prophetic is you get so close to the heart of god you hear his mind his thoughts what he plans to do you know you need this on a regular basis and there are millions of viewers all over the world that experience this twice a week sometimes even more at my den and you can experience it as well I'd love to have you there all you got to do is go to Kim.tv we have so much we have worship we have songs that come from the heart of God prophetic words about things that have not happened yet that's what we we say to the people welcome to the future and i want you to experience that i look forward to